Hey everybody, uh, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is David Pendleton and I'm gonna give you an update to Pro Ho number one. Um, I've got this one five for five today, so it's completely dialed in, but it's very specific. So grab a notepad, grab a pen or a pencil, take down three quick notes. I'm gonna show you how to get the hole in one every single time. If you find this helpful, please subscribe. You can also support my channel with a small donation. You can figure out how to do that in the comments. Those are always much appreciated. This stuff does take a little time um to get dialed in and hopefully this will help you guys uh get extra balls in the game you know better cards things like that but hole number one is completely locked in all right i'm gonna go step by step with you and show you exactly what we need to do to be successful so here we go first of all you're gonna play at the goliath okay it doesn't matter if you got a goliath six seven eight nine across my three accounts i have a seven i have an eight i have a nine i've dropped this shot with every single goliath um but here's what you need to do. I need your second bounce to be in the corner of that light green square. Now, hopefully that makes sense. I'll zoom in here and I'll leave it. Do you see uh, right there the light green square? Do you see how my ball guideline, the bounce, is directly in the corner of that light green square? That is exactly where you need to be. That is step number one. You're going to do that before you mess around with any spin. Step number two is once you have that landing spot, you're going to apply 3.1 bars of backspin and 0.8 bars of left side spin. It does not matter how strong your wind is or how non-strong your wind is. It's going to go in the hole every single time with a perfect shot as long as you have that landing spot. Perfect. But it has to be in the corner of the light green square. If you do it in the middle, you're going to miss. Um, after that, you're gonna pull 10% adjustment at mid distance and you have to have an 1159 pull angle. If you don't know what a pull angle is, that means the wind. So when you go to adjust your rings, you normally want the wind to blow north, but we all know that the wind does not pause, right? It doesn't just stop in place. When you start to pull your rings, it vibrates back and forth. Sometimes it vibrates from north to north to right. That would be called 1201. It's kind of like looking at a clock. All right, that would be 1201. If it bounces from north to north to left, just slightly, that's called an 1159. And you have to have an 1159 in order for this shot to work. But let's watch it with a 6.9 mile per hour wind. We're going to apply our back spin after the landing position along with our left side spin. So 3.1 back, you know, about 0.8 left. Gonna move your rings 10%. You probably hear my dog snoring in the background there. But this is gonna be dead center. And so far for me, it's dead center five for five, no matter what the wind is. So there's one, and I'll just show you one more just to keep you know the time of the video short. But here's one with seven and a half mile per hour wind. And I just use this in account for an example because this is the account that I'm playing right now. I don't wanna log out and log back in and do several different screen recordings. But as you can see today on this account, two for two, uh, two different type of winds. But again, you gotta get the second bounce in the corner of the light green square. And then you're going to apply 3.1 back, uh, 0.8 left. You're going to pull 10% with your rings, and then you have to have an 1159 pull angle. If it's blowing straight north, uh, you may get lucky and drop it. But if it's blowing north to north to right, a 1201, you're going to miss right. And even straight north, um, you'll probably miss right or you'll ring around the cup, which was what, that's what was happening to me in round two. And there it is.